Haley and I were personally invited to Connecticut to visit the famous Ed and Lorraine Warren's Occult Museum. And that's exactly where we're going. In my last two videos, Haley and I held a spirit box session in one of the world's most haunted cemeteries, the Union Cemetery, which dates back to the 1700s. People have had experiences with floating red eyes and a lady dressed in white that wanders the grounds. In this video, I talk to Tony Spera inside the Warren's Occult Museum, surrounded by many haunted and possessed artifacts. To hear firsthand the experiences people had with the lady in white. So Tyler, the, the story about this, she's known as the White Lady of Union Graveyard. And this is just a representation of what she looks like to people who have spotted her uh, just standing or walking or gliding around Route 59 in Easton, Connecticut. Uh, as far back as, say, 90 or more years ago, the Barberi brothers who lived in a farmhouse above the Union Graveyard in Easton, they reported back then spotting a specter dressed in a white gown walking and flitting through the gravestones. Many, many incidences of a white lady with a gown and a veil spotted on the side of the road or in the cemetery have been happening for many, many years, decades in fact. And then we first became aware of it in about 1990 when a young man by the name of Rod Vesey, at that time I think Rod was probably around 30, and he was working at Home Depot in Fairfield or Bridgeport. And he's coming back from his shift, from 4 to 12 shift. He was driving by Union Cemetery at about quarter to one at night on a September evening. Crisp, cool evening, no rain, no fog. And he's driving around along Route 59, about 35 miles an hour. And he happens to sense something in his passenger seat, he says. He looks over into the passenger seat and he sees a man dressed in like 1940s garb. And the man's about 65 or so, stubbly beard and a crumply hat, that's how he, Rod said it, a crumply hat. And he sees this guy, and you know how you do like a double take because you can't believe your eyes? So he goes like this, and the man's gone. The man was staring straight ahead at first, and goes like that, and the man's gone. He looks back at the road, and about 35 yards ahead of him, he sees a lady dressed in white standing in the middle of the road. And how Rod said it was, she's standing there. He said, I had plenty of time to stop, because I was only going about 30 or 35. I started to apply my brakes. He goes, but before I applied my brakes, she went like this, raised her hand up as if like to stop him, like this. She raises the hand, he hits the brakes, and it's like she jumped forward, like boom, 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 past him. And he said, I felt a wisp of air go, past my right ear. He said I, the white lady had gone right through his car. And as that wisp of air went through him, he said he felt a great sense of sympathy and sorrow at the same time and compassion for this, you know, this woman that had passed through his car. And he looks back at the road then and he sees on his side only all red. It's like somebody took a paintbrush and painted on his lane for about 300 feet, all in red. And then it stopped. So he's all shaken up. He drives home to Monroe. He lived in Monroe, Connecticut. He gets home about, say, 1 o'clock. Wakes his wife up, Pam, and he says, I, I got to tell you something. And he starts crying. Because he's overwhelmed with this compassionate feeling for this entity that he saw on the road. Pam says, Rod, why don't you call Mr. Warren in the morning? He lives right here in Monroe. And Rod did. He called Ed and explained to Ed. And Ed said, can you come over and do an interview, which he did. Very credible young man. Rod was the kind of guy who was very smart. He won the Connecticut lottery back in about 1989 for $2.5 So he didn't have to work at Home Depot, but he wanted to buy stock. 
and you could only buy stock at Home Depot by working there at that time. So he was smart enough to say, I'm going to get a job stocking shelves and I'll buy stock. So he, he was a very credible, nice man, very artistic, and very sensitive too. And I think that's why he saw this had happened. So I believed it, Ed believed it. In fact, Ed went out in September of that year in his van and parked inside the Union graveyard, which you better not try today because you'll get arrested for trespassing. And he sat there with his video camera at the time, a VHS camera, and to try to record any incidents that might happen. And on the seventh night, Ed was there. He was there from 9 p.m. to about 6 in the morning every day. On the seventh night, Ed captured a white lady of Union Cemetery flitting through the gravestones. And I got on my YouTube channel, uh, the official Ed Lorraine Warren channel. You'll see it. And you'll see NESPR on the cover. You can look through the videos and find the one with the white lady, which I wasn't going to put up. I got so many requests for that footage. It's not the best in the world footage, by the way. It's not 4K. It's VHS tape that's been duplicated and you know put onto the YouTube. So it's not going to be perfect, but you'll see it. If you watch it in the dark, you'll see these, this thing flitting through the gravestones. So, I believe the story. Ed believed the story. <coughs> Ed passed away in 2006. <coughs> but Ed used to tell the story all the time. But to reconfirm the story was amazing. About seven years ago, maybe eight, uh, I'm in a diner with my wife and with Lorraine. And we're getting up to leave. And this man, about 85 years old, this guy's name is Joe. He's wearing a Marine Corps hat, uh, baseball hat. And he stops at our table and he goes, Lorraine, I haven't seen you in so many years. Now, Lorraine met thousands of people. She didn't remember anybody named Joe, but she made like she did. And he's talking to her and he's saying, boy, you know, the movies that come out and everything. <clears throat> he goes, I know that you must be really busy. You must get a lot of people talking to you about this stuff. And for some reason, he starts to walk away and he goes, well, I know this stuff is real, though. And I stopped him. I said, Joe, why'd you say that? Everything, you know, everything is real. Because I know he must have a story, right? He goes, well, I, I, I know because something happened to me. I said, what happened to you, Joe? And this is the story he told me, and you're not going to believe me. Well, you better believe me. He says, <clears throat> I'm driving home from work one night. I used to work at like some electric company in Fairfield. He says, I'm driving home from work at about 7.30 at night, and I'm driving down Route 59 past the graveyard of Union Cemetery. I go, yeah. He goes, all of a sudden, this guy with a pointy hat is in my seat, my passenger seat, and he's pointing off to the side. I go, really, Joe? He goes, yeah. And I looked to the side and there's a lady dressed in white on the side of the road. He goes, this is what he says, he goes, and on my side of the ro road only it was all pink. I said, you're kidding, Joe. He goes, no. And he goes, in fact, I kind of like felt funny, like maybe I hit her with my bumper or something. So I turned around to make sure I didn't hit anything. <clears throat> I came back, <clears throat> he goes, there's no, no lady, no pink, no nothing. He just shook me up. I said, when did this happen, Joe? He goes, in the 1970s, like 20 years prior to Rod. He had the same experience that Rod had. So that confirmed to me, because I could tell Joe wasn't one of these internet guys who goes on the internet. And I said, Joe, will you, you know, do an interview with me and tape this? And first he said yes, then when I got home and I called him, he, he backed out. He said, I don't like to talk about evil stuff, because he's very religious. He thought it was evil to talk about too much. So I said, okay, Joe, it's okay. But I know Lorraine heard it, my wife heard it, and I heard it. So that confirmed to me that this white lady incident that Rod talked about was real. And many, many people have come and called us up and sent us emails saying they saw a lady on the side of the road at Union and at Stepney Graveyard, which is about three and a half miles up the road in Monroe. With the woman in white also being spotted at another cemetery not too far, the Stepney Cemetery, which is also from the 1700s, we just had to go see for ourselves. It's said that orbs have been experienced in the cemetery and also the lady in white. An interesting fact is that it's also the place where the world famous demonologists Ed and Lorraine Warren are set to rest. <laughs>